Ghostface and his girlfriend, Bluetooth, got to get their own reality show. This is good. Women around me care about this. Apparently, she had a teeth. She screwed it out. I, I, I can show you here. Look at this. Never seen some shit like this. This is a tooth. She screwed it out. Did it for you, Blue. The tooth out. Bluetooth, ladies and gentlemen. Bluetooth. Apparently, she took her her tooth out because Blueface said she changed up because of her teeth. She had gotten a replacement for the little gap. Remember her long standing name, which was coined by me. I'm gonna keep it on. I never seen nobody said before. Bluetooth, but um, anyway, um, yeah. My overall thing on it. Listen, I got nothing against her. Like that's just like old. I have nothing against Blueface. I think that's old. I even said to DDG, I think me, him, and DDG could sit down and we could all like, you know, chop it up. They're dropping a joint project soon. Um, I'll say this to Blueface. And I'm not saying this out of any malice. I'm saying this out of pure love and admiration in terms of I've studied this game. Blueface. You're shorty. I hope you treat her well. I know there's a time you were embarrassed to claim her. I hope you treat her well. She got your face tatted here. I think she even said she about to get your face on her tooth. I don't even know if that's possible, but it's cool. The reason why I'm saying that is that we, because we care about hip hop, severely underestimate the fact that certain relationships or certain females completely have given the relevance or the limelight to the rapper. I read these comments on The Shade Room. They love this couple. They love it. Or they think it's entertaining. I'll just say that. I don't know if they love it. They think it's entertainment, okay? Um, with all that being said, I think that works for a reality show, not necessarily music. But these days, people make more money off OnlyFans. I, I know a few. Well, I don't want to call people out. I know certain people who might make more off OnlyFans or just social media more than the music, okay? And um. I think what Blue Blueface has here with his girl um, is the hottest thing he has right now. If I'm him, if I'm Blueface, fuck an album. I'm doing a reality show. I'm just going off straight what makes monetary sense. If you look on the Shade Room, anything, look. Look. The Shade Room, post of them, 200,000. 200,000 um, um, likes, 25,000 comments. Look, right here. 2.8 million views. This is when she, she's in a doctor's office. Listen to this. So, um, Dr. Trevor gonna give me a tooth with blue face face on it. My problem child is back. <laughs> I just want my, my tooth, okay? I told you. Then we can put it back in. I, I couldn't keep it in. I'll catch her. So, um, Dr. Okay. The point what I'm trying to say, and, and I hope nobody takes this like, oh, I can salt it. Because I be reading them comments. If y'all really think I wanted to fucking interview Chris Sean Rock, y'all must be out of your fucking mind. Okay. But 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 like, you know, Blueface even hit me like, bro, I like I I'm I'm not salty at them, bro. Like, you know, I want to see the win. Um I think they're highly entertaining. Look at this, look. Look, six point one million views, sixty one thousand comments. If I'm Blueface, I go get the bag from a reality show with your girl. Let's just be honest. Let's be honest. Dropping a song or an album versus the the attention you would get from that versus you and your girl just having fun, going back and forth, and everybody love y'all drama? Come on, bro. 
Y'all yeah, yeah, tell me. You just tell me. I'm just I'm just looking at numbers. I'm a numbers guy. I'm not saying he should never put out music again. No, I'm, no that would be dumb. But right now, people love your relationship. That might not be something that like a rap blog would care about, but shit, the shade room? Let me tell you how much the shade room audience is different from mine. So this one little shorty I got, right? Every time I'm playing 2K. Like, she'll come in the same room and she'll, like, turn my TV on. And then she, like, airplays, like, something off her phone. And she's, like, watching a reality show. And I'm looking at her and I'm like, yo, yo, you know I got MTV, right? Like, you can just go upstairs and go watch MTV or something. She's like, no, I'm watching Zeus. I'm like, what the fuck is Zeus? It's like, like some network that, like, is on an app. I said, why do you watch it? She was like, oh, no, all the favorite people from, like, the shade room that are popular are on this. I'm like, what are you talking about? For example, Bluetooth or Crickshaw and Rock with your blue-faced girlfriend, she's on there. She's on there fighting hella bitches. So I'm watching for 20 seconds. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Now I get, like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Sometimes you have to be around. I be so trapped in rap world. I don't be really knowing what the fuck going. That's why I said that about Ari. I'm like, I know she's an alien celebrity here, but like, to me, I'm like, who the fuck? Nigga, I'm watching some shit. They got some bad boys club or some shit. It's a bunch of gay dudes fighting. It's like Saucy Santana times 20 on that bitch. I'm watching some other shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I kid you not, that shit is the most popular shit in the world because you know why? Black women specifically, all day they talk about it. They follow these people's pages. They follow the drama. That shit probably making a ton of money. A ton of money. I'm just keeping it hundred with you. So I looked at it and I said, I, yo, because she was, the chick that's, first of all, I told her, I said, yo, I, I hope you're just watching this for entertainment because I'm a, just me personally with women I deal with, I hate Ratchet. Ratchet is disgusting to me. Now, I love fucking a Ratchet bitch. I don't want a wife a Ratchet bitch. I can't think about building a family with no bitch who be thinking like they're jostling. Like, the mere fact that, like, oh, another show she'd be watching, because I didn't even know, like, I thought Jocelyn was a crackhead or some shit. You know what I mean? She was like, no, Jocelyn's like a boss. She has a show called Jocelyn Cabaret. It's so popular. We go to Miami one time. She's like, yo, oh, Jocelyn Cabaret is here. Can I go? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm really looking at her low key like, is this a red flag? Bro, I don't even know. I don't know what these things are. Let me tell you this, man. There's a whole ecosystem that's not rap. I'm proud of what I do. I'm in rap. I'm in music. I love it. I love getting on here and talking about the music and like, yo, what's going on in the industry. But, bro, there's another industry that really don't even got nothing to do with me. And that's why most people on the shade room hate me. Because I don't value what they value and they don't value what I value. I'll give you another thing. We go to Miami. We about to do a bunch of interviews. Shorty with me. She says, yo. She's like, hey, so cause we rented a couple cars. She was like, hey, can I take the car to go to Jisuwu? Like, I'm like, are you a blood? Like, what do you mean, Jisuwu? What's going on here? She's like, no, it's somebody's store. Don't you know Tay from Instagram? I said, who the fuck is Tay? You don't know Tay? I'm like, no. Like, am I supposed to know a nigga named Tay? Like, what the? Am I, am I supposed to know a nigga named who, who's What's on Tay got? Oh my God! Tay do all the hair for everyone! Bro, I kid you not, it's a whole fucking different world, bro. Now, I'm saying this in relation to Blueface and his girl because right now, I don't I don't know if the music heating up for Blueface. But he shit, if you drop a hit, another hit like the last joint, uh, he's scared to go outside, that shit was good. I like the version too. And obviously, I like I like him in DDG with anything. I ain't gonna be honest, but to keep it real, you know I might might just go up faster than the music. Him and his girl, bro, bro. I'm not yo. Niggas like, I think Ray J's involved with that. They making mad money over there. I'm not knocking nobody's hustle.
Somebody says Ari ain't a celebrity. She's a celebrity's girl. She's a celebrity girl to us, bro. That's how I was trying to explain the shade room, bro. Like, bro, on the shade room, 